I just got back from the grocery store and I wanted to do a grocery haul of everything that I got. Um, we pre-planned out a lot of the things um, before we went, but we also got a couple of just snacks and things that we just needed to restock on. So I'm just going to dive in in no particular order. So first thing is first, we have original almonds milk. Um, pretty standard. Okay, I absolutely love this. I love to have this in my pantry if I don't know what to make. Um, if I kind of am just really, really craving mac and cheese because that happens sometimes. I'm a gluten-free vegan, so it's really hard to find um, a good one of those. So I really like that. Um, we are going to eat Beyond Meat burgers, so we went ahead and we got these. These are really, really good. I love putting this with some barbecue sauce, ooh, but definitely not necessary. And then speaking again on the gluten-free, um, we have a brown rice bread. So this is my bread, um, and I just stick this in the fridge. I don't have a freezer, and personally I find it a lot easier from the fridge. Um, to cut the slices when it's frozen it's it's the biggest pain so save yourself just put it in the fridge and then my partner is not gluten free so he just went ahead and he got uh just sourdough bread by whole foods just basic basic bread and some salsa this is for my partner i don't really eat salsa and then we get Earth Balance, the soy free one. They have um, Omega Organic Original Soy Free, I think another one or something, but we get the soy free one. Um, and we purchased from Bulk Cashews. I personally prefer to take um, jars to the grocery store, but we had forgotten ours, so we did what we did. And yeah, so we got some cashews hemp seeds and sunflower seeds we always have a variety of nuts and seeds on hand we also have cashews or more cashews almonds and walnuts in our pantry still so there's that <clears throat> and then we have a carrots we got a multi thank you we got a multi variety um Unfortunately, the biggest one didn't have purple in it. I really wanted a purple one, um, but that's okay because the color varieties, they each have different vitamins and minerals in it that make it different colors, so that's why we get the multicolor variety. And my partner is going to be making um, vegetable stew, you said it was? Vegetable soup. Vegetable soup. So we got a couple of things specifically for it, like the celery and the carrots, and we got... An onion. We probably should have gotten two since we're also making um, rice bowls this week. And we tend to use that. But that's okay. We can always run back to the store. We got a single bell pepper again for that um, rice bowl recipe. And then vegetable stock. Power greens. This one had spinach, chard, and kale. They were um, all out of, of lettuce. It was it was very sad. Um, you tend to not get these ones, um, but you know, again, we did what we had to do. And then, oh my gosh! So the beans were ten for ten dollars, and uh, we are we're only down to one can of beans, so we stocked up. We got tri bean blend. So this has dark kidney or dark red kidney, pinto, and black beans. So we got a couple of those. We got one, two. Oh, we only got two of those. And then we got a dark red kidney and a light red kidney. Um, everything that we got was organic and or non-GMO. By the way, and then we got. How do you pronounce this one again? Canelli. Canelli. Beans. I personally don't think I've ever had them. They're just white kidney beans. And then, so then we also got then black beans. And those are all from there. Oh, and then we got a two water refill. 
I don't like using the fluoride water that comes out of the spout <laughs> at our house and we haven't invented or invested into a filter system so yeah um we got tortilla chips from Whole Foods they're just really good tortilla chips and then partner got pita chips so I'm gluten free he is not and then we got golden potatoes um, we tried to head to our farmer's market earlier today, but it was a smaller farmer's market, and they, like, barely had anything. So, um, I've preferred to get my potatoes at the farmer's market, and we blew through them like crazy. We ate more than we anticipated this week um, when we went to the market on Saturday. So, yeah, my cat is over here smelling all the food we just bought. Want to say hi, Remy? cute are you <laughs> yeah we got potatoes we always have eat potatoes and rice oh we forgot rice oh no no, no. we have bulk rice we have bulk rice. bulk rice i forgot about it and then we got gluten-free pasta so this one has brown rice quinoa and uh, amaranth amaranth is that how you pronounce it so yeah I'm excited. I'm trying to get some variety in my pasta because my gluten-free bread is brown rice. And then a lot of gluten-free pastas are um, rice as well. So I'm just trying to get a variety. Love quinoa. And then, um, yeah, I'm, I try to stay away from corn and soy when possible. But at the same time, you know, you do what you can. So then we also got two of those to do dishes and stuff oh and then when we went to the farmer's market i told you there wasn't much but so we got honey um we typically like yes if we're vegan but we have honey every once in a while this really helps with allergies we got this from the farmer's market it is locally grown locally sourced and they are well taken care for and we bought this off of this really nice older lady so <laughs> they're they're well taken care of okay and then we got some more of the vegan gravy so they had that at um our local grocery store and then i imagine with um thanksgiving coming around they'll come back out again and then uh yeah yeah got a couple of those taco seasoning um for those right that rice bowl i was talking about and then we got a bunch of bars. So lately I haven't really just been wanting to eat very much. Like I just want very simplistic things in like the morning and um, lunch. And then I have a hefty dinner and that's where like a bulk of my stuff comes from. But I, I don't know. Like I was fasting a bit and um, that was just what my body was called to do. But no longer is it called to fast. It's being called to eat and consume and stuff like that. So... We went ahead and there was a huge sale on bars, so we went in on it. So I got a Luna Lemon Zest. I had some of these I just haven't had in so long that I just, for the memorabilia, um, Luna Chocolate Peppermint Stick. <clears throat> and the Luna S'mores. They just, just remind me of high school. Like just something about <laughs> the taste of them just reminds me of high school. So just straight for the nostalgia. And knowing they're really good um, I've been into working out again so um, yeah I used to work out heavily about two years ago and then um, I had to stop because of um, some vitamin deficiencies and now I can work out again so I'm doing so I'll do a whole story about all that and then um, there's also the chocolate cupcake I have never had this one I'm kind of intrigued by it um, and then these ones are more so for my partner, but these ones are the Nugo Dart Chocolate Pretzel with Sea Salt. They're vegan and gluten free. We got, who he got two, I got one. And then he got the Mint Chocolate Chip, again from that same brand. These are really good. They were on sale. And then I got a couple of Lara Bars. 
I got apple pie. I absolutely love these. These this one only has six ingredients. Oh my gosh. Dates, almonds, apples, walnuts, raisins, and cinnamon. So good. So we got the apple pie lemon bar and so these are just phenomenal i love eating these about 20 to 30 minutes before a workout and it's just it's exactly what i need so um then i got key lime pie <clears throat> yeah i didn't make sure there was pineapple in that there is not i'm allergic to pineapple um <clears throat> got cinnamon roll i'm so intrigued by this dates walnuts almonds raisins cinnamon and sea salt like are you kidding me mint chip brownie i'm very curious about that and chocolate chip cookie dough so yeah that is everything that we bought um yeah so i'm excited a couple of things that we know we're for sure going to have is we're going to be having a rice bowl where it's just basically like a uh burrito bowl instead of um Instead of a burrito it's in a it's in a bowl and then we're also gonna have up here in the pacific northwest there's this thing called cafe yum so they have a yum bowl so good we're gonna make that you can purchase um their sauce if you live in the pacific northwest at like grocery stores and stuff and so yeah we're gonna make that and then he's gonna make the vegetable stew stock yes soup soup, soup. vegetable soup <laughs> and um salads for sure we've been on a salad kick and yeah who knows what else we're gonna make with all of this but yeah it was uh very eventful we got all of this for um about a hundred dollars if you count out some of the stuff that we purchased that were not food items we purchased the jug today which was 20 bucks itself so Mm -hmm. just the food alone was um a hundred dollars so yeah awesome um look forward to recipes i usually test out a recipe um to film for the next week and if it's a bust then i gotta re i gotta go to the drawing board again <laughs> um so yeah stay tuned bye